What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we are doing episodes 35 and 36. The first one is called It Is It's Trust. And with how last episode ended with Kiyoshi, the true iron heart, the soul, the spirit, the backbone, literally, of this team. Like, I don't know what we, we would be doing without him. So I absolutely pray we beat these guys, not even for us, but just so they can feel shitty. I want that sounds so petty of me, but I want everything in my soul for these guys to lose and our guys to win. It could be them, these guys, Kurosaki Daichi, whatever their name is, Hanamiya against anyone. And I'd want the other guy to win. But without with that being said, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access and full length up to four episodes ahead one week. Let's hop right on into this. Kuroko no Basket, episode 35. It's trust. Let's do it. All right, we are up by five. He hates earnest and good people. It's so annoying. Oh, you know, we're getting to a point that's crazy when Kuroko steps up and says something. Do you? Let's get to the root of this. You enjoy winning like this, this underhanded bullshit way? You derive pleasure from that? You get better. Okay. Not a bad actor, I won't lie. This guy's a little fucking prick. It's like Tonpa from Hunter x Hunter. These type of people are the worst people in this world. Some just want to see the world burn. Yeah, I would be like Kagami. I would be losing my cool. The fact that Kuroko is still... Better man than I am. Hmm. Yeah. Jesus. Look at my man is covered in bruises. Got elbows straight to his forehead. You'd think he's so calm, but no, he's more mad than anyone. I know exactly how Kuroko is feeling right now. He's just the kind that just doesn't really, ex you know, express it like Kagami does. Oh, I love. <laughs> Our web. I don't like how they are like the spiders that are web. Oh, Aomine. <laughs> what do you have to say about his tactics and his douchebaggery? Ooh. I love that. Not even a glint of doubt in what he just said. <laughs> the conf like I'm saying, the confidence in what he said. Like, I have no personal reason as to how you are going to lose. All I know is you did that, so it ensures him winning. And Kuroko, we've never seen him this angry, so. Vanishing Drive! He's ready for it, he says. It's because of his long hair that he can't even see his eyes. It's about blinking, isn't it? Okay, eraser head. Wow. First off, his explosive speed has to be crazy. His observations and his timing has to be insane. Good. And he's behind both of them. With a great assist over to Kagami, hopefully. Oh, oh yeah. Beautiful. Did he misread him and think that's what he was doing? Yeah. I mean, it was a fair guess, but at least that's info they gather they eliminated that as a possibility for what he does you know all right kentaro that's allowed okay slick back hair so this is their metaphorical web they were talking about i don't like the way he licked his lips right there Okay. That was a good steal by Hanamiya. I'll give him props where props is due. He's using the eagle eye, the, the Byaku, Byakugan, and he sees 
That's the second steal off Izuki. Yeah. Right? My man knows all the possibilities and where everybody should be and where every, what, like... This is the web they were talking about, but I hate that they call themselves the spiders just because I hate spiders personally. It's like one of my biggest fears, you know, and you do slice, you do die slow deaths too. Damn. He's like photographic memory. Yeah, we do our quick breaks. We do a lot of things. Yeah, the give and go. Mm hmm. Yup. I'm really glad we got Ima Yoshi's commentary right there. That actually helped not only with Hanamiya's strategy and how smart he is behind his strategy, but what they're doing right now, because this is not looking good. They are good at reading. Oh my, we had a seven point lead and now we're down. He has an IQ of 160 and Hanamiya's is even higher. Is that Shikamaru? Isn't Shikamaru's over 200? But with them together, Seto, is that his name? Yeah. Individually, they would be, be really good, but not as good. But together, they can steal almost... I mean, they said 100% every pass, you know? And then once they start losing and notice the situation they're in, desperation kicks in, and it's even more simple. The more you struggle, the deeper, yeah. Damn. So, oh. What are we going to do to pull ourselves out of this web? We're down 11 points now. Yeah, he was off his game. What are we going to do? He's like, he's saying, if Kyoshi's our, our biggest problem, then we have no problems. And I somewhat get what he's saying, sadly. The last corner, last quarter. Okay, the confidence needed, especially in a time where our morale and confidence is pretty low. He really is the backbone. They're already moving into intercept this potential pass he would do. What? Before he can steal it, Kuroko's going to steal it? Yup. Yes. And because he's not playing amongst the team, he's doing his own individual thing. He's not really readable, you know? Okay. <laughs> Great de redirection over to Kagami. Exactly. Exactly. He's playing offense for the. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. How do I say this? How do I word this correctly? He's playing offense, but for the defense, he, he's going against his offense, playing offense. If that makes sense at all. <laughs> right. It's like if if Kuroko was on the defending team, that would have been a great steal slash redirection pass. But he's on the, you know. Alright, Aumine. Ooh, the behind the back pass. It's trust. And that's what Hanamiya... I mean, they somewhat have that, but not to this level. It's, it's nowhere even close. Look at that. Beautiful. I love how he's literally scooting in front of him every time. And they're back to their dirty ways, especially with how worried they are of Kiyoshi. I don't know. This man can barely even stand up. Sadly, yeah. I agree. Yeah, she's literally crying saying this. It literally hurts her having, yeah. At a certain point, I'd rather have you hate me than you just be that injured, you know? I get it. You're like the older brother of the squad, you know? 
Don't sacrifice yourself just for this game. Yeah, Mito Bay's got to go in. It's been a minute since I've seen him anyway. He's the legend. You know, if anyone's going to try to uphold your legacy, it's going to be that man. The rest is up to you. You've done more than any of us could ever even ask, Yoshi. The Iron Heart. This next episode better be a good dub. I need a dub right now. All right, on to episode 36. This one's called Don't Be Ridiculous. I wonder who's going to say that exact line. Don't be ridiculous. We're down six points. Kiyoshi just got benched, just got subbed. Mitobe's out there. We need some absolute legendaryness to come out of my boys. But, yeah, fatal is a crazy word when we're talking about high school basketball. So, yes. Jesus. Great great direction come on junpei okay okay so we can be a consecutive kind of guy once we start this train going He knows he made her feel like she was stuck between a rock and a hard place. Never wanted to have to say that, but... I could totally see them dating. I shipped them so hard. I want them to have like 75 little NBA kids, you know? Just be coaches and stars. I know, right? I promise you're not getting away with this. Ooh, ankle breaker. That was a good steal. They're both running for it. Technically, if it goes out, it goes out on Hanamiya, right? Could be our ball. Yeah, white ball. You were just talking about this piece of junk, right? Say a bar or something, Kiyoshi. Right. Focus on focus on what's needed. Seems like Junpei was able to recollect himself thanks to just looking at Kyoshi right there. I reflooded him with all his flashbacks, all the thoughts, everything his resolve has been building up to right now. It's really tough to say. You guys don't. Even, you guys haven't even high fived before. Yeah, start there. This is gonna be wet, my man. Is this is going to be the one that starts it, too. Sakura, I can tell. <laughs> he read it in the fucking ball. The ball never lies. Come on. Junpei's on. He's going to keep draining him. Kiyoshi's a goat. Right? Everyone is inspired. Tip top. No, you're not getting past us. Come on. Come on. Bob, good steal, Kuroko. Come on. On the on the corner. I'm fake him. Oh, with the pass. Great Leia. Okay, we needed that. <laughs> Once that web is broken. Oh my God, the the white balance on my goddamn. Uh, I'm gonna turn. I'm open my window a little bit. Yes, yeah, an annoying light, but at least it helps with that. I like it's honestly just the connection of their motivations him Junpei the rest of the squad you know Rico they wouldn't fully believe if all of them didn't come together to fully believe you know come on boys winter cup is right in front of us this man is going to the ethereal plane What is he going to do? Is he, there's no way he's just going to straight drop elbow Kuroko in the fi 
good dodge, but like, what? The, what are you doing? Like these guys are just getting blatant now. It looks like he's literally about to like murder everyone. Like if this was a different show, I would think he's gonna go level up and kill everyone. That was all a distraction just to actually keep going. The one hander shot. Okay. Okay, so he's got a he's got a little bit of skill waiting for the end. We're only down one. Is that what I saw? This is still so totally doable. Nah, I mean, it's gonna be more of a competition. I'm not worried about. Oh, he thought they were wrong and they would never do some of the bullshit you would do. So I don't even know what you are, Mister. Bye bye to that ball right next to your head. Oh my. Could there be more of a dot? That was a dime. That was pinpoint. That was some Hawkeye shit. Great steal. Great shot. That is so good. If we can. St 30 seconds left. And what? We're up three right now. That was a two pointer. Yeah. We're just, we're just fucking nailing, putting the nails in the coffin. Great rebound. <laughs> the bounce back right to him. It's literally like a pass uh, pump fake. That pretty much seals the deal. Like, there's like not a chance. Good. Good. Not only did we qualify for my boy Kiyoshi, but we beat these bastards to do it. Best win I could have asked for. And Mito Bay got some good ass game time. <laughs> this was much needed for the whole squad. Hell yeah, Kuroko. Almine called it too. Start with a high five. Are we going to do it? Especially with how their relationship started. Just uh, Kiyoshi just annoying the shit out of Junpei. Come on. You guys ever get a nice crisp high five with a homie? Oh, oh. It's gonna bring tears in my eyes. Come on, don't do that to me, Rico. Other teams, I could, I could feel bad for. Not, not you guys. Not you, Hanamiya. Hey, I always accept an apology. I appreciate it, but. All right, buddy. Okay, buddy. Yeah, there's not gonna be a next time, bud. We're going to be the goats this year. The thing is, you have talent, which is crazy. And you're such an a-hole. Ah, this was a great game. I can't lie. How is Shutoku doing? Midorima out there just draining him. Takao with the great pass, and then he's just gonna, it's gonna be wet. Yeah, Senshin can got shit on. Was he? Oh yeah, he was. He was grinning. This is gonna be a crazy ass tournament. We're gonna have hopefully a training arc building up to it. Um, uh, maybe another new character we can introduce. I don't know. Just I'm ready for this. Every one of the GOMs. I wonder how many more uncrowned kings we're gonna see. Always got. To, they're literally just like uh, Kageyama and Hinata. From they always have to be playing with a volleyball or a basketball. Got to be doing some, you know. Wow. Can't contain his excitement. Right? Every team is ready. From Toho, Kaijo, to Shutoku, to Yosen, Murasaki Bara, everyone is ready. Ooh, why did I gotta show Akashi like this? 
That's the creepiest shit ever, just training in the dark. Every team, oh my god. That was wet. Oh, I love how they're saying that. They're literally saying that as the outro is going to play. <laughs> Look at these. Look at these boys. Damn it. Come on. Hopefully we get a training arc and we ride it. Because, I mean, the pacing's good. But I don't think we can go right into it, right? All right. Talk about some episodes. We had a good little arc against the uh, Kurosaki Daichi. Um, Hanamiya, Seto. I didn't realize how smart their team was. They actually had some really good plays and some really good strategies outside of the bullshit, which makes me so mad because there's so many instances in real life as well where people have so much talent and intellect and are using it for the bad or bad things. And I'm like, you don't realize your guys' actual potential, you know? And I get what he's saying. What else can I do against these people that are just have so much latent ability and latent geniusness? And when you're up against people like Almine, maybe I'm in the wrong. Maybe he's right. Maybe if I played against him a couple of times, I would think the same way. But I don't know. I feel like it just doesn't, you don't feel accomplished. There's no personal achievement there, you know? <sighs> Great games. Great games from Kiyoshi to Izuki to Kuroko being in being like a, it was like a, uh, the way he like played an aspect where he's on the team but not on the team at the same time I loved that strategy everyone Junpei and his oh, the hand the high five with him and Kiyoshi and him finally stepping up I love the confidence Almine saying that they're gonna win undoubtedly I love that overall episodes fantastic we got the winter cup next ended off great these two episodes little sessions just end, they always ended in such a good little spot I love it I love it we do have a QA question over here from Lulero. Um, thank you so much. If you guys didn't know, I do have a QA section on the Discord where you guys can ask me questions about any of the shows, and I will answer them within a certain amount of time. I apologize for how late I really am on this one. But Lulero says about Kuroko, he says, who is a great mod. I love you, Lulero. Um, he says, considering that the generation of miracles was a full lineup, all positions, a miracle in which uh a miracle in which position do you think would be the hardest for Seirin to handle in their current lineup? Now, this could have been even asked before we got Kyoshi. I'm going to answer it with Kyoshi on the squad. But I think this showcased how much Kyoshi is and how important he is for our foundation, our stability, not only mentally with the team spirit and morale, but also physically, like in terms of him being a crazy center on the offense and on the defense. So someone else who's even better than him, who can lock him down and then do more on top of that, like to counter him, I think would probably be as of right now, our biggest issue besides obviously someone like Almine. So my current answer is going to say more is going to be Murasaki Bara. I cannot wait to see him in action. Uh, I mean, that's just my guess. I really don't know. But that's going to be my guess. Well, thank you so much for the question. Like I said, if you guys have any other questions, make sure to check that out. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to check out that Patreon early access, full length, all that jazz. Subscribe, click that bell. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.